up, y'all? I think some people were asking me some questions. I'm like, I, I was a little late today. A little late. A little late. Um, what's going on, Jose? Oh, my comments are messing up already. Man, let me, let me get into my YouTube. Let me get into my YouTube so I can see what's happening here. Hey, Jose, Jake. Yes, much respect to Scoops. For sure. Um, hold on, hold on, let me see. No more comments. Hey, Trevorn. Oh, I got hearts from Jake. Thank you. I'm good, Nick. How are you? Oh, thank you, Golden Thread. You know, I'm trying a little something different. These are my space buns. These are my space buns. I'm trying a little something else. Hey, Trevorn. Hey, Tony. What's going on, y'all? I'm like a little, you know, I'm a little late, so I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. It took me a minute to get my buns right. Yeah, you know, a little Sailor Moonish, a little Sailor Moon, a little, little Sailor Moonish. Just trying something different, trying to mix it up for myself and y'all too, but you know, mixing it up for myself a little bit. China hairstyle? I don't know. Is it? Is it? I mean, it's buns. It's buns. I don't know. Is it? Thanks, Jake. I'm glad y'all like it. Glad y'all like it. Aw, thanks, GT. You know, it doesn't it doesn't compare to uh, the floss. Um, floss's new outfit, GT, which is very nice. I must I must admit, it's very very nice. Very nice. Aw, thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. You guys are very sweet. You guys are sweet. Thank you. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. All righty. Um, so how's everybody's weekend? What... Is any so Golden Thread? I know you're from Texas, but I know you're up north. Do you know anybody that's being affected like by all the flooding and everything? That's cr it's crazy, it's insane what's going on um, down there. So I hope I hope none of y'all have any family down there. If you do, I hope everybody is okay. Um, I what's new with me? Um, Nothing really, nothing really. Work, work and hanging out. It's still not, it's 80%. Your outfit is just 80% complete. Wow, well it looks good. Like you can roll with it like it is to me. Um, it's 1.22 a.m. for you in the UK. Oh, wow, wow. Well, on Thursday, you know, Jake, I go earlier on Thursday. Like my, my stream on Thursday is earlier, so. So hopefully I won't have to make you stay up so late to say hi to me. Where you're all affected down there. Wow. Certain gas stations ran out of gas. That's how it was here um, when Sandy hit us. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that that's, oh, it's awful. Like when, um, I'm good, Star. I'm good, how are you? Um, when Sandy hit us up north a few years ago, a couple years ago, like we're still, we're still, people are still screwed up from that. But I remember us, you know, running out of gas. There were really long lines for gas. If you needed gas, all the trains were shut down. You couldn't get into the city, um, you know, because all the tunnels were flooded. It was, it was bad. But I've been to Houston, and Houston is a really, um, Houston is a really cool city. I've, I've done some gigs there. Like looking at the, the images of the airport being underwater is like insane to me. So, so I just hope, I hope, uh, I hope everybody stays safe and, you know, like that's the thing, you know, it's like mother nature is the great equalizer. If you think about it, um, natural disaster ripple effect, you had to go to Jersey for gas when Han Sandy hit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I was in Brooklyn and it was it was terrible. Like I had an app, like I was like looking online to see where people had gas here. Um, oh, thank you. 
Thank you. I, you know what? Like, I, I, I just tried this. I just tried this. These are my space buns. If you look on YouTube, you can see some tutorials on how to do space buns, and that's how I, that's how I learned. Um, yeah, it was, it was rough. It was really rough, and luckily I didn't have to drive that much, but some of my gigs do require me to drive, and I had to drive um, that weekend, so I had to figure it out. Swinging my arms and singing to you. How are you? <laughs> but, oh, thank you, Star. Thank you, thank you. T Funk! You know, I'm just trying to represent T Funk. You know, I'm just trying to represent. Um, but, yeah, you know, like, what I was saying was, is, you know, Mother Nature is the great equalizer. And, you know, and, and right now people are so. Yeah, it's all in the forefront of our minds, like what separates us and what divides us and what makes us different um, and what we don't agree with and, and our opinions on other people and how they live their lives and, and all of that stuff. But when it comes to natural disasters, like it's the mother nature does not discriminate at all. So I hope everybody is I hope everybody is OK down there and that you guys make it through to the other side. Um, as unscathed as possible. From the grow. <laughs> yeah, I hope everybody's all right. I need to look at some of your recipes, Star. I need to look at some of your recipes. You don't. It was Mother Nature on this, Lola. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What am I drinking on? Well, today for me was Taco Tuesday. So I made uh, I made tacos for dinner. And what goes with tacos? But a margarita. And this is, this is a jalapeno margarita that I made. So I made a jalapeno margarita. And if you look in my glass, that's a fresh... Jalapeno slice right there that I uh, muddled to make it spicy, spicy like me. Anytime you need something specific, um, the, okay, all right, star. I might have to, I might have to talk to you off, off, off stream, a little bit. <laughs> but yes, it's Taco Tuesday, so with the Taco Tuesday you get margaritas. Can we say heart machine? I don't know what that is. That's some, is that some conspiracy series? Oh, okay, Trevorn. Okay, all right. I'll see you later. Trevorn stays on the road. I'm going to have to look that up, Golden Thread. Why am I dressed like a dancer? Am I dressed like a dancer? Sushi Fridays. I used to love, I used to love sushi. See, Golden Thread, you're going to have me Googling stuff. You're going to have me Googling Hamburger Thursdays. I can't. No. <laughs> What's going on, Tavares? What's up? What's up? Um, hey, lazy gamer. I don't think I'm dressed like a dancer today, am I? Well, because I'm wearing my space buns, because I did my space buns, I felt the need to wear my space pants. So that's why I'm wearing my space pants today. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Jake. Well, thank you for coming in. It's always good to see you, even for a second. Hopefully, um, you'll come back on Thursday. You know, I'll be a little earlier on Thursday, so so you can stay awake. All right. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Enjoy your movie. Um, okay. So, yesterday, Space Age. That's me. Yes. I am st Space Age. Star likes the way I'm dressed because it has stars. These are stars. This is the galaxy galaxies on my pants um so yesterday okay all right i will see you then jake have a good night Mwah. so yesterday hey chaos i binge watched the rest of um the defenders i binge watched the rest of the defenders we'll make hamburgers on thursday maybe you know i um it can be veggie burger thursday Veggie burger Thursday. I don't know, beer goes with veggie burgers. So maybe I'll drink beer on Thursday. Um, but I binge watched the rest of the Defenders. So I watched the whole. I watched like four episodes yesterday. I was really only going to watch two, 
But then I was in it, so it was like, let's just finish watching it. So, finished watching The Defenders yesterday. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I agree with Golden Threat that it was too much Iron Fist. I agree with you on that. Um, no bean burgers. No, beans are good. Beans are good. I love bean, bean burgers. Luke Cage. Uh, Luke Cage, okay. So, <laughs> my thoughts on The Defenders. Has everybody here watched it? Has everybody here watched The Defenders or are you going to watch The Defenders? I don't want to be, I don't want to be spoilerish, so I'll try to talk about it. Um, you just saw this star. This has been in my, um, this has been in every single one of my streams. Yeah, I love my star ball. Love it, love it, love it. Where can you get that? Um, I don't remember. I think maybe I got it at Spencer's. I'm not sure. Wait, 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 wait. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it fully. I won't talk about it fully. I, well, Luke Cage is busy getting that coffee. <laughs> yes, I will just say it had too much Iron Fist. <laughs> I'll say it had too much Iron Fist in it. So I won't. I won't give any spoilers. I won't give any spoilers at all. I will just talk about my general feelings about Iron Fist. Um, my general feelings about um, Luke Cage. First off, I'm just not. A, I'm just not a huge fan of the actor who they got to play Iron Fist. I had a problem with him in the Iron Fist um, series, and I have a problem with him in this. So, yeah. And Luke Cage, I don't think, Luke Cage, the actor who plays Luke Cage, like he looks the part, he definitely looks the part, but he does not give me like a Harlem vibe at all. He seems very, uh, like he he doesn't seem down. Like I don't know. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but he doesn't seem down to me. The police officer woman, Misty Knight, could be the new storm. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. And I don't really care for her either. I don't know. It's just something about I don't care for her either. And I really want to like her. Like, she kinda reminds me of Angela Bassett a little bit. Um and like Angela Bassett is who I wanted to be Storm. Like every like forever I wanted Angela Bassett to be Storm. But something about her acting, I don't really care for. It. You need that star. <laughs> I don't know where I don't I have I can't remember where I got it from. I've had that star star for I don't even know, probably fifteen years or something. I've had that star ball for a very, very long time. Very long time. Whoa, whoa. That's Luke Cage. He's more about his community. No, he can definitely be about his community. And I think that Luke Cage should be about his community. Absolutely. I'm saying that Luke Cage, like, the actor, the actor himself is not, doesn't seem like he's, like, down. He doesn't seem like he's ever been in a black neighborhood to me. And so, you know, for him coming from Harlem... Yeah, I think like Spencer's Chaos. I think I got it from like Spencer's. Hey, Eminem. Yeah, yeah, Star, look for it. Look, check Spencer's. I've had it for a really long time. Check Amazon, Amazon might have it. I get like everything from Amazon. He's a different type of cool. I'm not talking about Luke Cage, the character. I'm talking about the, the actor who is playing Luke Cage. I'm saying he looks the part. He looks like Luke Cage. But he doesn't really seem to me like he came from a black neighborhood. Like for that to be his character's experience um, and his backstory, like he doesn't really come from, uh, he doesn't really seem like he comes from Harlem, like at all. Like I'm not the most like quote unquote down, you know, person or whatever, but he just doesn't, he doesn't come across as... I don't know. I don't know. Scoops knows what I'm talking about. Scoops knows what I'm talking about. He's real proper. That's what I'm saying. He's real. Okay, so you're saying his whole character is to dispel the whole thug thing. It's not about being thug, and that's the thing. Like, for me, it's not about him being thug. It's about him being 
feeling like he's from where he's supposed to be from. Like you don't have to be a thug to be feeling like you're from where you're from. That's all I'm saying. Like it, it just seems like he doesn't he doesn't feel like he comes from there. That's all I'm saying. And so it's it's um it's not a thug thing. And and somebody who is a good actor could get this down like this. And so I think it speaks more to his acting ability than you know um than him it's more to his acting ability like for me he should be even if he even if that's not his own personal experience the actor he should be able to act like he has that life experience that's all i'm saying it's not about somebody being uh proper it's not about necessarily it's just like he has to have that swagger that he doesn't have that luke cage should have that's all i'm saying you don't like the chick who played Jessica. I guess we're even. Fair enough. Fair enough, T. You're right. You're right. You're right. Cause see, I love her. I love her. I love the girl who plays Jessica Jones. So so I guess I guess we are even. Yeah, I guess we are even. But I had a problem with Luke Cage in Luke Cage's uh, series. I had a problem with him. I loved him in Jessica Jones though. But I think it's because he didn't have a huge role you know his role in Jessica Jones was like side man so you know but my feelings continued in the defenders my feelings towards him continued into the defenders Matt Martirock is still my favorite Daredevil is awesome Daredevil is the best but I do have definite opinions on the defenders I think I may do a liquid lowdown on it and talk about it in general and then do a spoiler portion for anybody who's interested in my thoughts on the defenders because I don't I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't had a chance to see all of it yet and considering I watched like four episodes yesterday like yeah I don't want to spoil it for anybody hey Rob what's going on what's going on and I did watch Game of Thrones <sighs> oh um, my god he did get that coffee though. He did get that coffee. Excuse me, Don. What's up? What's up? Daredevil kind of cool. He was just playing. Yeah, I love, I love Daredevil. I love, I love the guy playing Daredevil. His role in Jessica Jones was pure fucking. It's true. It was. Maybe is that why I liked him in that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. What's going on, Von D? <laughs> yes, he did. I'm getting my coffee now. Ooh, okay, Star. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> You're thankful for the series. I'm thankful for the series, too. And that's why I want the series to be... Um, that's why I want it to be better. That's why I want it to be better. Because... When I'm looking at like Luke Cage versus the other ones, I feel, felt that Luke Cage fell short. And if you're gonna be telling that story and if you're gonna be like inner city and all of that, it, it has to be right. And it, it needs not to be corny or whatever. So, um, you know, and I love to see like black actors working. Like I love to see actors of color working and getting those roles. I think it's awesome. Um, so I'm so I'm definitely thankful for it and it films here and it films here in New York all of those series film here in New York so it's it's cool that you know sometimes you'll come across some film shoots and stuff with those with the TV shows you know and I see casting notices for it and stuff too which is cool uh, Netflix killed Death Note you're pissed I didn't see it I saw there was like a, a huge controversy about uh the death note situation like everybody's talking about that i hope that no i don't think netflix is going bank bankrupt luke cage was the most watched was it really t i didn't realize that that was the out of daredevil it can't couldn't have been it couldn't have been more watched than daredevil really yeah i feel that way too yeah Death Note anime and that's it. Okay, so I'm not that I'm not that familiar with Death Note. Somebody's gonna have to educate me on that. Send me some links. Send me some links on that. 
Because I don't know, I, there was this huge thing, like everybody was up at arms about Death Note and like very upset about it. And I don't, but I don't really know anything about Death Note, so I don't think it was for me necessarily. Maybe. Hot links. Hot links. Hey, Tegan. The anime was way different. That was a movie though, right? It was a movie, not a, um, it was a Death Note movie, not a series. Or is it a Netflix series? I do have Netflix, but I want to know where, I want to know like the origin, I guess. I, I'll just, I'll do my own research. I'll do my own research, but I've seen it up there. I just, um, it's a movie. Okay. All right. Really? Luke Cage was the most watched. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Well, I mean, well, that's that's awesome then. If it was the most watched, and that's awesome. Hopefully they'll bring it. Hopefully they'll bring it uh, for season two. I felt that uh, Mahershala Ali, the guy who played Cottonmouth, I felt that he really saved the series because I didn't even like Alfre Woodard in the Luke Cage series. I didn't even like her in it. I thought that her acting was just bad. Really? Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I stand. I stand. I stand corrected. Maybe it's maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Yeah, they are bringing back. They are bringing back Luke Cage. I saw an image today. So for for those who have not finished watching um, the Defenders, there's already an image out. I mean, we all know. We all know Misty Knight. We all know who she is, and we all know like what she is in Luke Cage in the comics, right? They've already released an image of her um, with with an arm. With the with the with the uh, with her arm with the prosthetic arm, uh, Cottonmouth was cool. He was Cottonmouth, but that actor. But that's what I'm talking about. Like that actor, you know, he's the act he won the Oscar. Like that actor is amazing. Like he's a fantastic actor, and that's what I'm talking about. Like you have to have you have to bring like that talent. You have to bring that talent to the role. Um, you know. Yeah, Misty Knight. Yeah, Misty Knight is police officer. I need to look at the Punisher trailer. I loved him in Daredevil. Like that season two, that season two of Daredevil was crazy. Scoops is saying he wasn't happy with the Death Note movie, Don. He's saying he was he was not happy with the Death Note movie. So I don't know. I don't really know anything. I don't. I don't know anything about it, Don. I need to look at it. Uh, okay, Kay. I see you later. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know anything about Death Note. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Star. Thanks for coming in. Mwah. Let me know if you find this lamp. Hopefully I'll see it in your, uh, hopefully I'll see it on your stream. Right, so I know what you're saying, that she could be the 80s storm. I'm not, I don't know. And I love, and I love, like, storm is my favorite. Like, I love storm. So I don't know that I can co-sign that. The 80s storm would have been Angela Bassett. I can't, Misty Knight, for me, Misty Knight is not sexy enough. Misty Knight is not sexy enough. Yeah, let me know, Star. See you later. Um, Misty Knight is not... I mean, and I think that she looks great, but it's something about her that I don't really particularly care for. I, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think she needs to... I think she needs to be a little more turned up a notch for me. For my taste, anyway. For my taste. Hey, Chad. Halle Berry. Ugh. T-Funk, we will never agree on anything ever again. Halle Berry should have never been Storm. She have, should have never have been Storm. And I love Halle Berry. Halle Berry is gorgeous. She's amazing. Um, 
she's not Storm. And she never should have been Storm. She never should have been Storm. I'm sorry, I can't, I cannot, um, I can't, I can't co-sign, uh, I can't co-sign a Halle Berry as Storm conversation. I, I don't, Halle Berry should have never been Storm, in my opinion. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, Halle Berry was Storm, but I'm going by what I know from, like, the comics. Storm in the comics and, um, oh, you're saying, oh, okay, all right, you're saying Halle Berry was the only Storm. Oh, yeah, she was the only live-action Storm. You're right. She was the only live-action Storm. I thought you were saying that she should be the only Storm. I'm just saying that Halle Berry should have never have been Storm. She never should have been Storm. She gave up her card years ago. Exactly. Like, she should have never have been Storm. Hey, uh, stupid cash, what's up? Yeah, Halle Berry just should have never been Storm for me. For my taste, she shouldn't have been Storm. You didn't see Luke, you didn't see Luke Cage, Tegan? It's worth watching. It's definitely worth watching. You should you should check out Luke Cage. My the order of the shows for me is Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. That's the order of the ones I like. Hey, IML, what's up? What's up? Liquid Drake Energy. Why don't I go and try for the role? I should actually. I should. I should. I don't have an agent. I don't have an agent. I would love to be Storm though. That would be like that would be like a dream role for me. Hey, Big Smoke. Jessica Jones whack. <laughs> I know you don't like Jessica Jones. I liked her. I liked her, but I but I do like that actress too, so I might be a little biased. Like I liked her from uh, the Bee in Apartment 23. Later, Tegan. Thanks for coming in. What's happening in this stream? What do you mean what's happening in this stream? It's always funny to me when people come in. It's always funny to me when people come in to a stream and they're like, what's happening? Like, stick around and find out. Or don't. But what's happening in this stream? I don't know what that is. Uh, sure, Elle, go ahead. Yes, I'm having a good day, Chad. I am. Thank you. It's, um, it's cooling off here and it's been rainy all day today for me. You were young, you always thought Whitney Houston had a good look. Whitney did have a good look. She did have a good look. And she possibly could have been Storm, maybe? I don't know. When I think of Storm, like, I would think of, like, Naomi Campbell. Like, Naomi Campbell would be a good Storm for me. Angela Bassett would have been a great Storm. Um, even the, the girl who was in The Matrix. Um, Uh-oh, I missed a comment. We never really see her fly. No, we see her jump, though. We do see her jump. Good night, Chad. We do see her jump, but no, we don't see her fly. Um, there was a girl, um, Nona Gay. Nona Gay. Marvin Gaye's daughter. I thought she would have made a good, a good storm. Yours is Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and then Jessica's trash. <gasps> no! What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you put Iron Fist before Jessica? Oh my goodness. And then you called it trash. <laughs> Damn. That's harsh. That's harsh. Y'all really did not like Jessica Jones. That is harsh. That is so harsh for me. Was the dude in Jessica Jones' apartment her dude or her assistant? That's her, that, he's not even her assistant. Um, the guy who was in her apartment, if you didn't see Jessica Jones, he was the crackhead. He was like the crackhead, meth head uh, down the street. Jessica was corny. Damn, y'all are not given. Y'all are not. No, it is not. Gar Do not listen to them, Vaughn. It is not garbage. Hey, Flash. What's going on? It was not garbage. Don't listen to them. You should check it out. The guy in her apartment 
was the crackhead who was down down the hall from her. He has an apartment down the hall from her. Um, he was like cracked out. He was a junkie, right? Basically, she always looked out for him. She saved him from his junkie ways. She saved him from his junkie ways. And so now he's like loyal to her because she helped him and she got him, you know, helped get him clean or whatever. She saved him. He was killing himself with drugs and, and um, you know, so yeah, they're just friends. They weren't, they were not sleeping together. I've never, they've never slept together that I have seen. They've never, they've never slept together, but uh, she's okay. <laughs> She's okay. I don't know. I like I like Jessica Jones. I like Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones doesn't take any shit. That's why I like her. Like, you know, she doesn't take anything off of anybody. Her superpowers? She is super strong. Like, super, super strong. Super strong. Super strong. Like, rivaling Luke Cage strong. She's very strong. Um, she can't be injured like that not really and and she can jump I don't know they say she can fly I guess I've only seen her jump really really high junkie is such a harsh word he had chemical dependencies okay scoops trying to be PC for the junkie <laughs> and Luke Cage got that coffee some of the hottest um, they had some hot sex scenes because they were breaking everything. Like, they broke everything. Like, they trashed everything. Because they're both unbreakable. So, like, they trashed everything. It was hot. Okay, you met a girl yesterday. We met up in school, and your friends came along. And it wasn't that awkward, but we talked. And next day, when we were supposed... Iron Fist was the only one who actually hurt Luke Cage. True, but did he have to t say, tell us he's the immortal Iron Fist every single friggin' day? I um, suppose kind of late, but I guess that's because of her class. She replied eventually, but do you think I made her uncomfortable? Or made, maybe you did something wrong? Wait, hold on. Let me read your whole thing. Let me read your whole thing. You met a girl yesterday. Next day, um, you're supposed to meet up and she texted you, but she texted you kind of late. Golden Thread, I can't. <laughs> I don't think Jessica Jones discriminates. Um, I think you're thinking too much of it, Elle. I think you're thinking, I think you're, I think you're too, like, I think you're thinking too much of it. Like, um, if she texts you back, then I think that's a good thing. Like, you know, she texts you back, so that's cool. Um, just don't be pressed. Like, don't be pressed about it. Like, don't be... Um, you know, just play it a little cooler, I think. Just play it a little cooler and just see what happens. Like, if you just met each other, if you just met each other, you can't read too much into it at all. Like, it's not a matter of her not wanting to see you or wanting to see you. It's just a matter of, um, you guys trying to get on the same page. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. Seriously. Just play it cool. Play it cool. Wait, hold on. What kind of what kind of advice are these guys giving you? Hold on. Just watch the defenders. <laughs> when it comes down to the D, get it on. Wait. We don't we don't know how old he is, y'all. You can't be giving him advice about getting the D and giving the D and all that. We don't know how old he is. He shouldn't don't be giving out the D. L. L. Don't give out the D. Um no, no, he's not a troll. He's not a troll. I just, you know, I'm just saying you got to play it cool. Because, like, if girls see, feel that you're too thirsty, that goes against you. Like, that, that, that gives you the opposite effect of what you wanted. And now you're in the friend zone. Like, seriously, now you're just in the friend zone. So, so don't worry about that. Don't give the D your respect. <laughs> okay, all right, Al. <laughs> Right. I mean, how? What? Right. What grade are we? What grade are we talking about here? 
what grade are we talking about? No, 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 no. We need to know before you take any advice on giving out any D, we need to know like what kind of, uh, what age we're talking about right here. Wasn't I just talking to his girl this morning? I can't. Y'all better leave him alone. Y'all better, <laughs> y'all better leave him alone. <laughs> I'm hot. I need to like turn my air on. I'm a little warm. I'm a little warm. Um But yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't read too much into it. Like if you just met her, like you gotta just you just kinda gotta kinda have to chill with that, you know. Just relax, just relax. You're thinking, buy her shoes for birthday, that'll cost $100. I'm a senior, she's a senior too. You're 18, she's 17. She's moving out on the 9th. You're buying her shoes? Wait, what? You're buying her shoes? So you know her then, so you know her. Like, you guys are already friends. You guys are already friends. Yeah, you might you might already be in the friend zone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have enough I don't think I have enough information. Don't buy any girl any hundred dollar shoes. Do not buy a girl a hundred dollar shoes. If you are not dating her, do not buy her shoes. Do not buy her a hundred dollar anything if you are not dating her. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Hey, Nebu. Nebu Jumbo. What's up? Hey. Yeah, don't buy, do not buy any, a uh, hundred dollars, that's a, that's a very expensive gift. That's an expensive gift. You're young. Do not buy anybody anything that expensive. It's her birthday, and no, we don't know each other very well. We just met in real life yesterday. And okay, well, what should I get for her? A happy birthday. A happy birthday text. Send her the text with the balloons that say happy birthday. That's what you do. Do not, she does not get a gift from you, Elle. She does not get a gift. If you want to get her a gift, like maybe ask to take her out. If you, if you feel that you're like at that level, then maybe ask her if you can take her out to dinner. That's all you do. Do not give her any, any physical present. Do not do that. Go buy a hundred dollars worth of vape and wear it to the mall or the next party and see it. Yeah, exactly. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to ask her out, then you ask her out. If you get into, if you start things off with buying somebody extra extravagant gifts, then that's all you're going to ever be is the person who can get me what I want. Don't do that. Don't set yourself up like that. Like, seriously, don't do it. Um, like, she has to like you for you. And if she's not going to like you for you, then you need to move on from her. Like, don't... Like, now you're into, like, buying affections. And that's never that's never cool. So, um, you know, do what you, do what you have to do. Try to take her out for her birthday. Even if it's lunch. If it's not dinner, maybe take her out to lunch. Or a movie. You can offer to take her to a movie. Like, a movie is a nice... Um, that's a nice, appropriate gift. That's a nice, appropriate date. So, so see if she'll let you take her out and then go from there. Maybe she can earn her $100 shoes. But don't buy that girl shoes. Seriously. $100 worth of lottery tickets. Or better yet, buy a video game. Yes, buy a video game. Buy a video game. <laughs> People still rocking me. Yes, buy yourself a video game. Yes. Good, Al. Good. You know, ultimately, like... Women like somebody who's confident, and I think if you approach her with confidence, then you'll get farther than trying to, like, buy someone's affections, you know? Go buy a popular PS4 game and hang out with us on PS4 stream and learn something. <laughs> Justin D! Oh, wait, Justin! Justin, I... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm coming right back. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Give me, like, one second. Give me one second, because I, I have something.
I have to find it. I have to find it. I, I almost wore this shirt. I almost wore this shirt today. Hold on, I have to go in my closet. What's going on? Oh, I'm not from Brazil. I'm not from Brazil. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Damn it, I just had the friggin' thing. Wait, this is gonna drive me crazy. This is gonna this is gonna drive me crazy. Hold on guys. I have to find this. Now this is pissing me off. Give me one second. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I promise. I'll be right back. Justin, like the most interesting man. <laughs> hey Flash, welcome back. Welcome back. I have to find this though. So give me like give me like two seconds. I have to find this. I'll be right back. because I put it away I couldn't find it because I put it away and I never put anything away like I never put anything away. I like go through stuff and I pull things out of drawers and they just stay out of drawers but all right <laughs> two and two <laughs> no but I had this and I and I had this on and I was gonna wear it but then I was like no I don't, I don't feel like wearing this, so I didn't wear it, but I'm wearing it because I know Justin loves MJ, and I have this shirt. A friend gave me this shirt. A friend gave me this shirt, and it was this big-ass t-shirt, and so I cut it because I like, I like to cut t-shirts, so. so I cut the t-shirt. Do some MJ moves. I don't have any MJ moves. I can do, let me see, what can I do? I can do... I can do the moonwalk. I have to put my shoes on. Hold on. Can I do it in these? I don't know if I can do it in these. My my favorite MJ song. Um. Wait. Can I? Oh wait. I can't do it in these slippers. Can I do it with my bare feet? The moonwalk. <laughs> wait. Wait. I can't wait. You can't even see my feet. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try the moonwalk for you guys. All right. Let me try. Wait. I, I, I can't do it in my bare feet. My feet are sticking to the floor. My feet are sticking to the floor, but but I'll give you a, 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 a wait a, 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 I'm not gonna do a crotch grab because that's not cool. My moonwalk was, was a little whack because my feet are sticking to the floor. I need to put socks on. I just put some socks on. <laughs> Always cutting something, always cutting something. But yeah, so I have this. I have this. I know, I, I know, I have to be careful. I have to be careful. You're right, Scoops. I got to be careful. I should put some socks on. If I put socks on, I could do a proper moonwalk. But my bare feet are sticking to, <laughs> are sticking to the floor. <laughs> and I have, okay, so you can moonwalk with your fingers. So I wore this, I, I pulled this out for you, Justin, specifically. I pulled this out for you. So, yeah. And my keychain, like my keychain that I have, that actually, and I have never shown you guys this. Let me go find my keys. I'm going to find my keys. This is my original keychain. So this, this gives you a little information about my age. But this is my original keychain. Let me find it. Let me grab it for you. This is, oh yeah, I have a dog. I have a dog. I'll show you my dog. Be still my beating blue heart. This is my original. Wait, can you see it? This is this is original. This is not like. Wait. 
I'm trying to get it in the thing. There we go. Damn, Justin, I wonder if this is Justin Timberlake with all this people. No, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. But this is my original, this is my original um, keychain. This is a Thriller keychain, by the way. And this is all my, this is all my actual keys. These are my actual keys that I use, like, you know, every day. Let me put these back so I don't lose them. Well, no, today is, today is Michael Jackson's birthday. Today is Michael Jackson's birthday. So, you know, your mom has that somewhere in this house, really. You have three dogs. What kind of, I do have a dog. My dog got a haircut yesterday. I took her to get a haircut yesterday and um, she's eating some food right now. Molly, come here, puppy. She doesn't want to come. She doesn't want to come. But I will, um, I'm going to grab her if she comes through. Wait, here she comes. She's coming. 85, he was fresh out of the hood then. Yeah, so like, and bad is not my favorite. Um, oh, GT is gone. Oh, bye GT. Thank you for coming in. Good night. Y'all make sure to check out uh, GT. Make sure to check out Golden Thread. I think everybody here knows Golden Thread though. Everybody knows Golden Thread. We're a little light tonight. I think um, I think Moneymaker is, Moneymaker streams on Tuesday night. So I think he's uh, streaming. Um, but I'm in, I'm in, oh, I'm missing some comments. I'm in New York, though. Um, I'm the Giants. Somebody asked. I'm the Giants. Giants, Giants, Giants. You know, GT works late. Like, he works late. Come here, Lolly. He works nighttime. He works in the night. Come here, puppy. Come here. Oh my gosh, she's always faking me out. All right, I'm going to grab her so you can see her. Come here. Come here, Lolly. She's, she's gone. She's gone. But yeah, do I have a favorite Michael Jackson song? I don't think I have a favorite Michael Jackson song. Um, I was always more of a Prince fan, honestly. I was always more of a Prince fan, so... Um, I started off like as a Michael Jackson fan, like as a kid, I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. One of the songs I've always liked is um, I Can't Help It. I really like that song. Lolly has left the building. She really has. Like she's like gone. She's gone. Aww. I'm oh, sorry, GT. Yeah, Golden Thread is in Texas. He is in Texas. He's in he's in the northern northern part of Texas. Well, further north than where all this stuff is happening. But he's he did say that it's um it's affecting them too because they don't have gas. They they don't they're running out of gas um, where he is. Um, last question. If the girl doesn't show up tomorrow, do you think she dislikes you or make maybe it happened what she says? But then the following day after that, if she don't show up. L, I I don't even know what you're talking about. If you should, if she doesn't show up, I don't even know what you're saying. Are you saying if you invite someone somewhere and if she doesn't show up, then you've been stood up? So I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. The way you're making me feel, you really turn me on. <laughs> Sorry, my dog has to go out. Give me, um, you mean showing up in the school because you met her yesterday during the school. Oh, hey, JM. Yeah, I mean, if she doesn't show, if she doesn't really want to talk to you, then you're going to have to just kind of let that go because then that is a little, that is a little stalkerish. I'm saying you got to be cool. Like, you got to be easy with that.
<laughs> yeah, school just started. So I think he li he said he just met her yesterday. Like he literally just met her yesterday. So you have a whole school year. You you have a whole school year. Like just relax, relax. You might find somebody you like a little better. You know, like you might you might find someone who is more your speed, who you like a little better. <laughs> okay, Scoops. Good night. I didn't know you went to I didn't know you went to bed that early, Scoops. I'm sorry. We should have talked earlier. Wait, Lolly. Wait, hold on. Your school starts Monday. Charge her to the game. <laughs> Wait, Lolly, come here. Sorry guys. all like wet from being outside all right this is lolly she got a haircut she got a haircut yesterday we went on and went on an adventure and she got a haircut finally yesterday no don't drink my drink wait <laughs> all right fine oh okay that flash bye thanks for coming in now i'm like all wet um, but yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little late today. I'm a little late. I was supposed to be on here earlier. Um, she is a Maltese Yorkie mix. Maltese Yorkie. She's a rescue animal. I don't, um, I don't do the whole like buying dogs things. Uh, you know what, I'll make friends by passing out your IG to people. But wait, how did he meet her though? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, if you just met her in person. Like, if you, if you just met her in person for the first time. Like, how did you meet her in that case? You know what I mean? Yes, it is a lava lamp. This is my first lava lamp. This is my first lava lamp. I never had a lava lamp before this. I got this this summer. And I just got it because it was blue. <laughs> I got it because it was blue. This was an impulse buy. But I've never had one. And it's surprising that I've never had a lava lamp. But I've never had a lava lamp. And, and now I have one. So This is my lava lamp. She doesn't seem to listen to you when she, you, when I call her. Oh, my dog? Oh no, she doesn't listen. She doesn't listen at all. She doesn't. She does her own thing. Like she's um. She does her own thing. She could she could care less about me unless I'm feeding her, or letting her outside. <laughs> Hold up. We have the great Justin D in the chat now. Justin, what would you do? He doesn't know the whole story, though. He doesn't know the whole story. Your lava lamp exploded. How the hell did it explode? You met her in school. We started talking on chat, Snapchat. You got her Snapchat from an open story where you can post stuff and people can add you. So she added you. Oh, my gosh. So you first met on Snapchat. Okay, so if you first met on Snapchat, does that mean that you were, um, like... Uh, like, did you, like, slide into her DMs on Snapchat? Like, were you snapping her directly? And was she, like, responsive to that? Or was this all, like, you just kind of, like, looking at her snaps? Like, did she look at your snap stuff, too? And respond and, and be, like, in your story and, and, I don't know, exactly, you know, like, in your DMs or whatever? 
Cause that's what I'm. That's what I'm. And that's what I'm curious about. Like, if she's somebody, <laughs> if she's somebody who you just like saw her snaps, then that's that's a little different. All right, Daisy in the house. What's up? Slide into the DMs. She added you. Okay. Oh, and then you started talking to her. Okay. So that's not. That's that's pretty. That's okay. Like if if you were talking to her on Snap and she responded back and she added you and stuff, then I think that's promising. But I also think that she has options. I think she has options. You've never done that. Wait, what do you mean you've never done that? I'm just saying she has options. Like, she met you online, and this could be a situation where, you know, you shared something online, but... It may or may not translate to real life. So you have to kind of figure that out. You have to figure that out. Like if she's cool and is is being responsive to you in person, then okay. But I'm just saying don't push it. Don't push it. Because it might have been cool on Snapchat, but now that you're in school, it might be a little different. That's all I'm saying. So, So just, you know, just chill a little bit with it. And let, let it naturally take its course. And if it's meant to happen, and if it's meant to be, then it'll be. Otherwise, you have options. Like, you just started you just started back at school, like yesterday. So you have options. There are probably lots of girls there that might, might even like you, you know. You need to make your own <laughs> drink and call it Blue Crush. <laughs> oh, thanks, Justin. <laughs> And stop calling y'all need to stop calling him creepy. He's not creepy. He's just, you know, he's he's young. He's young and in like. Young and in like. Blue Crush. I like Blue Crush. Wasn't that that was a movie. That was a movie with um uh what's her name? Um Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious as to what she looks like too. You can hardly talk to her since she plays sports, so I can't reply till 10 p.m. But yeah. She talked a lot with you yesterday, so yeah. What's going on, 4Dub? What's up? What are y'all saying? So yeah, but if things don't work out, then so be it. I just think that you need to, you know, <laughs> Lo, we need to Sherlock Holmes this situation. No. <laughs> blue Crush sounds like some type of blue drug-like meth. I can't. We do not bunk, yo. No, no. I think that obviously he really likes this girl. Obviously he really likes this girl. He got into it because he fell for her on Snap. I'm just saying don't be thirsty. The worst thing you can do right now, L, is be thirsty. I'm going to start. I'm going to I'm going to have like a Lola love line. I'm going to have a Lola love line. I'm going to do a Lola love line stream. Maybe where where people can um, call in and ask me love life questions, and I will give them amazing advice. But um, he is persistent. He's persistent. But you know what though? Persistency is a good thing. Like sometimes, sometimes somebody needs to just wear you down. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to be worn down, and then you realize that you know maybe that's someone that you really like. I'm just saying, I'm saying that I, I think he has a chance. I think he has a chance. She's still talking to him. I think that he does have a chance. Lola love line. Right, but then I'll have some like pervs calling me. What, you are the first to say that? Wait, what? Don't be thirsty, be hungry or hangry. No, don't, no, don't be hungry. Either. Well, you can be hungry. You can be hungry. Don't be hangry. Being hangry, that's a turn off. Don't be hangry. You think she talks to him because he's nice. What's wrong with nice? I think, what's, what's wrong with being nice? I, girls do like nice guys. Get her some funky cold Medina. Bill Cosby says proof is in the pudding. I can't. Justin, you are wrong for that. You are wrong for that. Don't do that either. 
Yeah, it was some cold females around like that in high school. No. Hungry like a wolf. I can't. Y'all are giving y'all are giving this boy some bad advice. If you're hangry, eat a Snickers. You'll be the first one to call, Don. Okay, I might do that. I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Um I'll do that coming up. Maybe I'll do it. I'll do it one of these days. I'll do it soon. I'll do it soon. Wait, now you're going to send me a picture? Wait, what are you sending me a picture of? Um, what are you sending me a picture of? Okay, you can send me a picture. You have my Insta? Just, it has to be a, a pro, an appropriate picture. Don't, don't send me anything inappropriate. Oh, of the girl. Oh, okay, you can send me a picture of the girl. But are you gonna send me a picture of you? Like, am I, do I know what you look like already? Don't just send me a picture of the girl. If, if, if I need to get a picture, I need to see a picture of you and a picture of the girl. Did I see the look though? I'm just saying, like, he's 17. I don't, I don't want anything inappropriate in my um, inbox. Or he's 18. You know, you found another target. Oh, L found another target, I can't. Done. L, you have my in this is my Insta. You can you can DM me a picture. DM me a couple pictures. And we'll 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 figure this out. We'll figure this out. I can take voice messages on Snapchat. Oh, I've seen you. Okay. And you won't show anything inappropriate. Okay, then you can send me. What's going on? Flash. Okay. Alright, so Lola Hives. I'm just like, dude, let's just be clear. There's certain things I don't need to see. Frida! Oh, okay. Hi, right, Frida. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for stopping in for a second. Enjoy your GTA. Alright, so you sent me something. Did you send it? Where's my Insta? All right, he hasn't sent me anything yet. But the the situ what have I seen, T Funk? You don't even know what I've seen. You don't even want to know what I've seen. Yeah, do that. Let me get your number. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, I will wait. I will wait. Um, it's good to see you, Frida. And I love the purple hearts always. Um, what have I seen? I have gotten. Too many dick pics. I've gotten too many dick pics. And most recently, I just started Snapchat, right? I just started Snapchat. Nobody told me. Nobody nobody told me this. No one told me this. Someone sent me, like, a whole friggin', um, like, I guess is it a story? Is it a story? I guess it's a story, right? Like, a jack jacking off video. And I'm like, I, this is not something I want to see. Like, face and everything. Like, a pan shot. Like, like he was like this. And then like this. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. I don't need to see any of that. I've gotten dick pics, like, from multiple angles. Like, if I didn't see it, like, the first time, like, you want to send, like, different angles of it. I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. Come on, y'all. I don't want to see it. Don't send out your dick. L, don't send out your dick. Don't do it. Don't do it. No one wants to see it. No one wants to see it. I don't want to see it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, I'm just saying. I just, you're eating. I'm just saying. I, you know, y'all need to know. Y'all need to know what your fellow guys are doing out there. That's what they're doing. They're sending out full on like cinema it's like uh, photographs like photographs from different angles close-ups i don't want i don't want to see that i don't want to see that i don't, that's unsolicited i don't want to see that but the video was the video was very was like it was really strange then someone had to tell me how to use the how to find the block button i didn't know where my block button was on snapchat so I had to find that really quickly. I had to find that very quickly. I haven't looked. All right, L, don't send. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to send it, send it. Otherwise, you know, let me know. 
chicks be doing what okay guys are girls really sending out i mean it's one thing like you guys want like boob pics and stuff like i know you guys want that stuff but are women really sending out pictures of their genitals seriously like no really is are, are women doing that really what's going on jay what's up are, are women really doing that i would like to think that women are not sending out pictures of their badge boobs okay well boobs that's one thing like okay you guys want pictures of boobs so don't act like you don't want to see boobs you guys want boobs you always want boobs the hide and seek block button. I didn't know where the block button was. I had to I had to do some research on it. But y'all y'all are y'all like all of that stuff. So like you're saying stuff that you actually like and enjoy. Twerking and boobs. Boobies, yay. Exactly. Like every week someone comes in here and is like, let me see your boobs. And everybody's like, uh, let me see you twerk. Like every single week. Yes, Lola Cakes. <laughs> exactly. Every week. Every week that happens. So, you know, you guys want to see that. Don't act like you don't want to see that. You want boobs. Exactly. And so, don't act like you don't want to see it. I'm just saying, I don't know that, um, don't you be in sending no further WNBA player picks. Wait, what? I like pizza too, but you love the booty. <laughs> so, so y'all like that. Y'all like that. I'm just saying, if someone asks you for it, you probably still shouldn't do it. But if someone asks you for it, that's one thing. Sending out unsolicited pictures and or videos is not right. It's not right. And, and that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And the booty, I mean, you know, I think that I think that ass is a little different. You know, ass is a little different. We don't like it, we love it. Make it clap. Right, see, like now y'all are gone y'all have gone off. Y'all have gone off. We just <laughs> We don't like it. We love it. Right. Flash is making his own ribs hurt because he's laughing so hard. Man. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. <laughs> Who's had a stalker? I've had a stalker. It's not fun. I've had a stalker. It's not, it's not fun times. It's not fun times. Boobies do not make the world go round. Another part of the female anatomy makes the world go round. So we are on the social media of people getting exposed. That's the topic for today. <laughs> this society is crazy. <laughs> what? Do... Oh. So apparently, I'll have to send it to you later because I lost the picture. Sorry, but yeah, sorry. Oh. It's fine. You don't need to send a picture. The moment is past. Don't worry about it. Now I'm calling all of your everything into question right now. I'm sending it all, I'm, I'm calling it all into question. And don't send me some catfish ass picture. Because I will reverse image search it and find it. I'm just saying. What do you have against NBA, WNBA players? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hashtag exposed. <laughs> But even if he is, even if he is trolling, though, it's it's been very entertaining. You guys have to admit, it's been entertaining, for sure. It's been entertaining, guys. <laughs> Wait, how did I how did I know what T? How did I know what? reverse picture oh oh because i watch catfish i, I watch catfish y'all don't watch catfish am i the only person who still watches catfish <laughs> i watch catfish 
You're not trolling. Okay, all right, all right, L. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. You don't, I, okay. I mean, I, ho I hope that it works out for you, I do. I do hope that it works out for you. Seriously. Not even joking, I hope it works out for you. Um, but yeah, I still watch Catfish. Am I the only person who still watches Catfish on MTV? No, I don't, he's not getting catfished because he met her in real life. Lola is from the future, confirmed. <laughs> no, he, he met her. He really met her. So, um, your sister watches catfish. Wait, you used to be, okay, what? L, you used to be a catfish? Hmm. Okay. That changes everything. That changes everything. And I'm going to tell you why. Because every single episode of Catfish that I've seen, they always say they stop. They always say they stop catfishing. They always say they stop catfishing. But they never do. They don't. They can't resist it. Like, they can't resist logging into that account and, and doing it. Like, they can't resist it. When you were 10, boy... How the hell are you catfishing at 10? I can't. I can't. All right, there was this one catfish. There was this one catfish that was this girl, and, and, and somebody thought that they were talking to Lil Bow Wow, right? They thought that they were talking to Lil Bow Wow, and this girl, like, had these other girls, like, tricked. I can't right now. Wait, I can't. <laughs> oh my god dracona i did i did how do you keep those in the box i can't keep anything in the box i can't keep anything in the box i don't know how you keep those your collection is crazy i would have them all out and be playing with all of them um you never catfish someone you keep true to them at all times that's good that's good it's not it's not really good to catfish guys it's not really good to catfish but it's not good to catfish, but the show is very entertaining. I don't know how people are getting catfished in 2017. How are we supposed to know you're not catfish? Them catfish words. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. Oh, you have sparked off a whole conversation. I thank you for it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand how people get catfished, but I, I think that... Most mostly they get catfish because they want to believe like they want to believe they want to um, They just they want to believe they want to believe it So they allow themselves to get catfished even though they know that things are not right You know even though they know that something it doesn't add up or whatever or that this person is like way too high Like these people are like freaking models like they choose people who are like models and yeah, it's like you're not pulling that person. Like you're not gonna pull friggin' uh wait, I swear I call that bullshit. L was spitting. No, he's not, he's not, he's not. If you have OCD, it's real easy. I liked it, I liked it. I did like it. It was cool. I liked you showing off your um your collection, but I was looking at it like Dude, there's no way I can keep any of this in the box. Ah, oh, okay, Justin. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you later. That shit was funny. You know. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, don't catfish, guys. Come on. Don't be a catfish. Don't be a catfish. I missed some comments, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know. At 
10 years old though, you can't be a successful catfish at 10 years old. You don't have enough life experiences. You don't have enough life experience to be a good catfish at 10. You just don't. You just don't. There's no way you can be a 10 year old and successfully catfish somebody. Not really. Death note just popped in your head. You're writing L name in my notebook. All right, so I gotta I gotta watch Death Note now. You have a pop pop collection video. Oh, okay. I didn't watch the whole Play Arts video, but I did I did skip through it to see what you have, and your collection is is ridiculous. And those um, those Play Arts figures are not cheap. So you have a very, very impressive um, collection with that. I only have one, and that one was a gift. Um, and that's my one Wonder Woman one that I have. And she's definitely out of the box. But how you know about being a catfish, though? Who, me? I know about being a catfish from watching the show. If you were 10, you would have been successful. No, you wouldn't have. Not at 10. At 10, you, you don't have... Okay, you can catfish somebody at 10 if you're catfishing someone who is like 14, then you can catfish someone. But you're not going to catfish an adult person or even close to adult person as a 10 year old. Death Note might be hard for me. For me? Oh, for Don. Oh, it might be hard for Don. I don't know. I need to look at Death Note now. Apparently, Death Note is this new movie that's on Netflix, but it's based on some anime, and everybody's pissed off about it because they didn't do Death Note right. So, I don't know. The anime was way too hard. Oh, now I have to watch it. Okay, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to find it and watch it. I'm going to find it. Your Death Note anime better than the original show. And yes, I'm damn pissed. Wait, what? I wouldn't like it. How do you know that I wouldn't like it? Wait, tell me why I wouldn't like it. Tell me why I wouldn't like it. <laughs> That's funny, Jacona. <laughs> uh, your wallet cries. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a very impressive collection. Wait, but why wouldn't I like it? You never catfish. You're not ugly to that. But people that catfish need to stop being scared of rejection. That's how you grow up. Mmm. It's gory. Too much feelings. Dude was cold-hearted. Oh, I love stuff like that. I love stuff like that. I love stuff like that. Like, like I'm cool with stuff if it's I'm cool with it being gory. Um, depending, like, like I'm a huge like Quentin Tarantino fan. Like I will watch anything and everything that Tarantino does. Um, I like revenge flicks, like Old Boy. Like I watched the original Old Boy. I never saw the American version, but the original Old Boy, I loved that. Um, there was this other one too. Um, like some of those um, revenge revenge flicks. I can't. There was another one. I can't think of the name of it that I really liked. Um, so yeah. So I think I would like it actually. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, you're pissed how they messed up all the characters from Death Note. Also the ending. Oh, wait. These kids are. It's nothing like the anime. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check it out now. It was a huge disappointment. Interesting. What's Old Boy? Oh my gosh. Old Boy, you have to watch Old Boy. You have to watch Old Boy. Old Boy, I mean, Old Boy is is amazing. Like the original Old Boy. I don't know how they did on the remake, but the original Old Boy with the subtitles, you have to watch that. You have to watch it. I am not catfishing y'all. Are you saying you need to stop? <laughs> I'm live action. I'm not catfishing you, but thank you, Jay. <laughs> I'm, I want to watch the anime of Death Note and then watch the um, then watch the movie. I missed something though. Um, 
But the best part is the demon. Okay. These kids are so sophisticated with the technology. They are. They are, though. They are. Okay, yeah, the original old boy. I didn't watch the new one, but... Um, but yeah, the original the original old boy was was great. It was fantastic. Something's in my eye. Okay. Yeah, the original old boy was was amazing. But I do need to watch the anime. But, uh, Attack on Titan. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch that. I don't know that. Oh boy, had a sick twist. It was twisted. It was twisted. Oh wait. Okay. If you watch Death Note anime, be aware it gets a little boring because so much drama, critical thinking, but it's crazy. Like the way they think and say before they speak. I don't know. I like stuff like that. Like I like stuff that makes me think. I like stuff that makes me think. So, um, yeah. Rio grew up to Death Note, and trust me, it's not worth it at all. Save yourself from watching it. But, but I should watch the anime, though, right? I should watch the anime. Still a good anime. You liked it. You just hated the damn ending. Hotel part. Yes. Yes. Old Boy, if you guys haven't seen Old Boy, you, you've got to watch it. You've got to watch it. I meant to watch, like, the American version, but then I didn't. Because I'm like, I don't... It's probably not very good. One of the creepiest ch uh, movies that I watched... Um, ch what was it called? There was this movie. It, it's, a, it's a holiday movie. It's a holiday movie, but it's... Uh, the Cr Krampus? I think it's called Krampus. Did anybody see that? Did you guys see Krampus? It's like these scary ass Santas. They're these scary Santas. They're like these scary naked Santas that like kill people. It's crazy. You like it? I just tried something different. I'm glad you guys like it. Watch the anime. Okay, I will. I will I will definitely check that out, Dracona. I will check that out. It's nothing like it. Okay. Krampus. Yes, Krampus. Krampus is crazy. Krampus is crazy. That is, you guys have got to watch Krampus. If you haven't seen Krampus, it's not really the time of year for it. I'll probably bring it up again closer to Christmas, but you have got to watch, you've got to watch Krampus. It's so insane. It's so insane. It's subtitle. It's crazy. Naked Santa sounds like some other shit just by itself. <laughs> it's just, it's insane. It's like, it, there's it, it, there's no way to even describe what it is. There's no way to describe what it is. You have got to watch it. You've got to watch it. Um, watch Another, the anime. It's called Another? Is that what you're saying? It's called Another? Krampus and... Um, let the right one in. They tried to make an American version of it. I didn't see it, but um, let the right one in is another is another um, another movie that I really loved. That was like was like weird and strange, and subtitled, but it was it was really good. You saw Krampus, but you didn't see any naked Santas in it. How did you not see the naked Santas? How did you not see the naked Santas? Oh my gosh, they were there. Santas had their junk out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna meet up with Dracona. Dracona, I see that they still have Thursday tickets available. I see they still have Thursday tickets available. I'm just going on Friday, but I did consider maybe um, buying a Thursday ticket. Cowboy Bebop. I did see Cowboy Bebop. I saw Cowboy Bebop. Welcome back, Tegan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Yeah, we're gonna meet up at at, uh, at Comic Con. But I thought you didn't like it, L. I thought you didn't like it. So now you want it to be a series? Why do you want it to be a series if you didn't like it? The Krampus I'm talking about is it's about it's Santas. They're these scary ass Santas. There's this little kid and his dad. And they're like, um, what is their business? It's like a, are they minors? Not minors. There's some, something like minors. I, it's been a while since I've seen it. But there's something like minors. And it's just like small little community. And it's in the snow. And um, you like it. You just dislike the protagonist. Okay. I got you. Okay. Well. And the other people. <laughs> Am I talking? Yeah, I'm talking about. That's the name of it, right? Krampus? With the scary Santas. We moved on from that flash. The situation with L was that he had met this girl. L met this girl on, on Snapchat. L met this girl on Snapchat. Um, found her through, like, a local story or something. They added each other on Snapchat, they talked back and forth on Snapchat, then they went to the same school this year. So he met her for the first time in real life yesterday. And so she was a little delayed in texting him back and stuff like that, so he was wondering if she's really interested in him or not. That's the crux of it all. Um, they have a lot of Thursday tickets, so if you want to meet up earlier, you should jump on it. Yeah, I might. I might. Because I know Friday is going to be crazy. I know Friday is going to be crazy at Comic-Con. So if I happen to do, if I happen to get a Thursday ticket, I will let you know. I'll let you know if I if I decide to get a Thursday ticket. And then that way I can buy some stuff too. So I'll see. I'll see. But that might be a better day for us to meet up than Friday. Death Note. L playing chess. No, it won't be any Comic-Con streaming. I don't think so. I don't think my phone can handle that. I don't have any external power source or anything, so I don't think so. I won't be cosplaying. I'm just going to be Lola. I'm going to just be me. I'm not going to be cosplaying. I don't think so. No. I might put on Wonder Woman. Maybe. I might put on Wonder Woman. It might be this. It might be this Lola. <laughs> It might be this Lola at Comic-Con. I'm not sure yet, though. You'll be streaming? Do you have, like, an external, like, power pack or whatever to stream? The Krampus you watched was about an evil Santa that took away a child's family because he hated Christmas. Is that the name of it? Hold on. I don't know if that's the name of it, then. Dracona gets a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me see if that's... Hold on. Cause I don't know if that's the name of it. I think it's Krampus. I mean that that sounds right, but there were a bunch of them. So you have like a, this whole external Jack in the Box is one of the evil characters. Krampus is the shadow of Saint. Yeah. Oh no, it's not Krampus. No, 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 it's not Krampus. Nope. Nope, it's not Krampus. It's not Krampus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not Krampus. Let me tell you guys. All right. It's not Krampus. My bad. Evil Santa Claus movie. No, it is not Krampus. What is it called? Hold on. Oh, man. Um. We need you to dress like the figurine to your left. This? This? At Comic-Con? Wait. Wait, I missed it. Wait. I missed a comment. Hold on. It is a naked Santa. It's a naked Santa. Santa, hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. All right, uh, Santa. It, I can't remember, like, they speak a different language. Um, Santa movie, scary, foreign, because it's a foreign film. Because you guys have got to watch this movie. Rare exports! Rare exports! Rare exports! Rare exports! You'll be cosplaying as Noctis. Krampus wasn't naked. No, okay. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Rare exports is what it's called. It's rare exports. Rare exports, okay. A Christmas tale. It's from Finland. It's from Finland. You have got to watch rare exports. It's not Krampus. My bad. My bad, guys. This movie is amazing. This movie is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. You don't want to have that in your Google history, <laughs> right? Naked Santa. <laughs> I did it. I did it for you guys. I did it for you. Rare Exports is awesome. Let me see if I can find... Okay, so Rare Exports movie. But it's a bunch of Naked Santas. Rare Exports sounds like a GTA 5 DLC. I know. I think, I think it is. A rare, I think it is a GTA DLC. Oh, I had in my cup, I had a jalapeno margarita that I made. That's my jalapeno laying in the bottom there. Um, it was a jalapeno margarita. Today was Taco Tuesday, T-Funk. So I made tacos. Um, all right, let me show you. Where are Santas? Here they are. All right, let me see if I can... See, see if I can show you this. But this is blurry. You can't really see it. But let me see. These are the naked Santas, guys. You see the naked Santa? These are all the naked Santas. In rare exports. <laughs> These are the naked Santas. I'm telling you. It's a good movie. No, it's a good movie. It's a, I promise you, it's a good movie. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but it's it's like scary and I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a trust me. Trust me. It's a good movie. Don't let Naked Santa scare you away. It's art. It's art, guys. It's art. But it is it really is a it really is a great film. <laughs> so I had some tacos through the screen. Well they they were meatless tacos. They were meatless tacos. I made them with lentils. Tell them to put some pants on. I mean, they did have pants on. I don't know where their clothes went actually. Some of them had clothes on and and then they were gone. So I'm not sure why they were out there, like in the snow like that. But it's a bunch of like naked Santas. Bunch of naked Santas. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Naked Santas. You can trust a movie with naked Santas. I'm telling you. Yes. Yeah, super, superhero Liquid Lola. She's faster than a speedy bartender. Stronger than a shot glass. And bluer than a Smurfette's butt. Exactly. It's not a snuff film. No. Oh my gosh. You do art, but you don't draw naked. What is wrong with naked people? What is wrong with naked people? What is wrong with naked people? What's wrong with naked Santa, T-Funk? <laughs> no, but seriously, what's wrong with naked people? I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with naked. I mean, the, the human body, I think, is beautiful in all shapes, sizes, and colors. It is. It is. Like, we put this thing, like, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being naked. Bunch of naked Santas. <laughs> like a lot 2017. It's a good movie. I stand behind it. I st That's okay. I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to bring it back up when it's closer to this time. When, it, when it's closer to the time. When it's closer to the holiday season. 
I'm going to bring up Naked Santas again, and, and we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll check it out, we'll talk about it, we'll review it, I will make my recommendation. Nothing wrong with naked people, but there's something wrong about a naked Santa. <laughs> Santa's just another person, guys. Santa's just another person. He's just another person with a body. That's, that's all Santa is. He's just another person. So... He gets naked. He gets naked just like everybody else. Y'all get naked. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the human body. There's nothing wrong with the naked Santa. <laughs> but see, Flash, now you're taking it somewhere else. Now you're taking it somewhere else. I don't want the naked Santa to break into my house. to get, Like, now that's like... That is... Now it's time to call the police. It's time to call the police. I would knock out Naked Santa too. Like, now it's time to call the police. It's time to call the authorities. Santa's naked ass is going to be arrested. That's different. That's different from this movie. <laughs> well, kind of. Kind of. You have to watch it. It's a good movie. Naked Santa aside, it's a good movie. It is not any triple X stuff. <laughs> I promise you it is not triple X. It is not it's not X rated. It is not X rated at all. You have to see the context of it. You have to see the context of it. They're not erect Santa penis. It's it's just, you know, it's not you don't see any erect Santa penis. It's all in the snow and outside and it's very cold and they're all very small. So um, if you're naughty, naked Santa will leave you something in your stocking. And trust me, it ain't vanilla pudding. Ew. Hey, Samu. Oh, my God. Y'all, I don't know what y'all got me into this evening. I don't know what y'all got me into. I'm just saying, it's outside. It's cold. It's snowing. It's like a blizzard. It's a blizzard when the naked Santa shows up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't say you're right, Santa Venus. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> no, don't hate Santa. He's the same. This is even in Rare Exports. It's not the real Santa. Like, it's not the real Santa. It's not the real Santa. You just need to see the story. It's not the real Santa. The real Santa is still sacred. He still wears his red suit. He still has a big belly. None of these Santas have big bellies. All of these Santas are like very thin. Um, it's not for kids. It's not for kids. Definitely don't show it to your children. Um, Rare Exports is not for kids. There are kids in it though. There are kids in it. But it's not for children. And you might see a naked Santa penis. I'm just saying. Well, many, but you know, it's not really Santa though. Santa like it's a Santa like figure. Santa like figures showing their penis. But it's not even about the penis. It's about them being creepy. That's it's not it's not about them being naked so much. The naked is the shock value. That's all. Yeah. Oh, you're a kid. Okay. Well, if you're a kid, then Flash, then you might not. Maybe you shouldn't be watching. Maybe you shouldn't be watching that. You're like this Friday the 13th. Did I, wait, what did I say? Hold on. Your, your comments got messed up. Comments got messed up. Hold on. Wait, what, what did I... There... There is... I mean... I mean, it, there's nudity. There's nudity in it. And the people who are nude happen to look like Santa. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it's a, it, is, it is a very good movie. It's a very good movie. I'm joking about it, but it's a really good movie. Oh, Vaughn, you missed it. Vaughn says, ew, what are y'all talking about? There's this movie called Rare Exports. There's this movie called Rare Exports. <laughs> So is Naked Santa the real Santa's homeless brother? No. But it does look like Santa's homeless brother, though. But it's not. It's not. There's this movie. Um, it's. 
out of Finland. It's an older movie, and I was recommending it because it's about, like, creepy Santa. It's like a horror movie, but it's about Santa. But it's called uh, Rare Exports, and it's from Finland. And that's what we're talking about. And uh, picture... Does naked Santa have a candy claim between his legs, or is he happy? And if he's happy, I wonder how he keeps it up in the cold. I can't. I can't. <laughs> right, you don't always see a naked Santa movie, and that's why it's a rare export. Hello? It's a rare export. It's a rare export, so it's like, you know. It's worth seeing. I'm, I'm doing a terrible job of... Of selling this movie it's a really good movie and it's scary and it's interesting and it's very well done naked Santa's aside it's very well done so I'm just saying have it on your radar I'll bring it up again I will bring it up again closer to the holiday season it is not a snuff film stop it t-punk it is not it is not It's a it's a blizzard. It's cold outside. It's a cold. It's cold outside. There's lots of snow and 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 things happen. So so yeah, some things happen. And um, and it's not technically Santa, but kind of it is. You just have to you just have to watch the movie. You have to watch the movie. You you don't even really care that the Santas are naked. You don't really care about it. It's a little shocking. But you don't really care about it in the scope of, of the story. You don't really care about them being naked. Oh. Do not... Flash, do not Google that. Do not Google that. Don't Google that. Don't Google that. I'm serious. Um, just disregard that, please. Naked Santa love playing Jingle Balls. <laughs> <laughs> the musical. <laughs> no, he doesn't come down the chimney. It's not. No, I haven't destroyed anybody's childhood. No. <laughs> Y'all are the worst, man. Y'all are the worst. Y'all are the absolute worst. No, I'm not destroying anybody's childhood. It's a, it's a good film. Once you guys see it, once you guys see it, your question flash. Your question. I said, don't Google that. Disregard, disregard snuff film. Seriously. Um, oh man, it's really raining outside. Um, <laughs> oh my god, y'all are hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. I can't. I can't. Hey, Jamarius. I'm good. I'm good. This is the best chat I've ever been. <laughs> oh my god. This is awful. Normally we talk about normal things. I don't know how I don't know how this happened. I don't know. No, don't scroll up, Flash. The name of the movie is Rare Exports. Rare Exports. And it's a um it's a <laughs> hashtag jingle ball. It's a, it's a, um, it's a Finnish movie. It's a movie out of Finland. So it's a foreign film. It's, it's really good though. It's really good. It's really good. It has, it's like a five star movie. It's very good. I highly recommend it. I need to watch it again. I need to watch it again. <laughs> Somebody asked what it was called. It's called Rare Exports. It's called Rare Exports. Google that. Rare Exports, the movie. It's very good. It got like five five stars, Rotten Tomatoes. It's a good movie. Right, that right. I told you that was a GTA DLC. Yeah, it definitely is. It is a DLC for GTA, but that this. I'm sorry guys, I'm yawning. Um, not this. This is, um, it's a holiday film. It's a holiday movie. Your ears are no longer rushing. No! Oh my gosh. I'm not doing right by the kids. I'm not doing right by the kids. No, Flash. Don't say that. Rare, rare exports, that sounds like an x-rated site. No. 
<laughs> it's not Von D. It's not. It's not X-rated. It's not an X-rated website. It's not. Well, it might be. I don't know. Okay. If you're going to Google it, Google Rare Exports the movie. Rare Exports the Finland mo Finnish movie. Google that. I don't know. I can't speak to any sort of adult websites or anything like that. You want don't want to know my DVD collection? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a quality film. This is a quality film. It's a quality film. It's very well done. It's very well done. You don't even really notice the naked Santas in it. Flash can handle himself. Okay. All right, Flash. All right. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are a mess. I'm about to get off of here, though, guys. I think I'm going to play, um, I might play something. I think I'm going to play something. I might stream it. I don't know. I might. I might stream it. Nick, no, no. <laughs> Naked Santa Jingle Balls pop. Naked Flashes Virgin Ears. No. That's messed up. That is messed up. Rare Exports. Bond, look up Rare Exports, the movie. I don't know. I can't vouch for anything else. But it's Rare Exports and Santa. Do Rare Exports and Santa and see what you find. Play GTA and stream it. I don't know if I'm going to play GTA. I might play, um, I have some friends playing Battlefield, so I might, I might join them for some Battlefield. Um, yeah, so I might, I might do that. But I'll be back on Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday, y'all. I will come back on Thursday. And uh, I need to play more games with firefights. Yeah, I agree. I agree, T Funk. I mean, once Destiny hits, like I will be streaming that for sure. Um, but yeah, I agree. Like, I mean, I, I like there's certain games that I enjoy playing, but I don't know if they're fun for people to watch me playing. You know, so um, I'm not very good at Battlefield. But I will play it and I will stream it so you guys can see it. Are you guys on Twitch? Battlefield 4. You will not be alone, Flash. You will not be alone. But yeah, I'll be back for that Thursday thing. Um, Battlefield 4. I have Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4. But I'll be playing Battlefield 4 this evening. This evening. Alright, Dracona. Yeah, y'all make sure to check out Dracona. He's a fellow YouTuber. He does some cool stuff over on his channel. He's a cosplayer um, and a gamer and very knowledgeable. Um, he's a game tester as well. So he, he has some inside scoop on some things. So make sure to check him out. And he's having a giveaway coming up. So um, if you sub to him, you'll be in line for the giveaway. Uh, Seven Nation Army. Hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I love the white stripes. I love the white stripes. Love them. I'm like a, I'm a huge fan of of Jack White. Like white stripes, the Dead Weather, the Rockin' Tours. I love anything Jack White does. His his solo projects, um, Blunderbuss. I love Jack White. But yeah, Seven Nation Army. I love that song. Okay, I will. I'm not huge into pops. Dracona, but I will I will check it out. I only have that one pop that I showed you. But um but I will I will come through and check you out. I'll come through and check it out. For sure. Yeah, I love the white stripes. Love the white stripes. Yeah, my pants are the galaxy. It's the galaxy. These are my galaxy um galaxy leggings. So yeah. The universe galaxy. Stars, worlds, raccoon something. Oh, I don't know that one. You're saying he has another group? Jack White has another group? I don't know about a raccoon. I don't, I'm obviously out of the loop. I know the raccoon. Oh, raccoon tours. The raccoon tours. Um, are like a like you're a raccoon tour like um. Uh, R A C O N T E U R, raconteur. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, raconteurs. R A C. Just look up Jack White's fans. 
and you'll see the Dead Weather. Dead Weather is awesome. The Raconteurs, R-A-C-O-N-T-E-U-R-S, is the other one. If your pants are the galaxy, does that mean we live in your pants? But I'm, yeah, the Raconteurs, yeah. It is French, it is French. It is a French name, I don't know, like, you know, but yeah, it's a French name. Yeah, those are the, the two bands, other than the White Stripes, that I know of anyway. And then he had his solo, uh, his solo projects, just Jack White by himself. He did a song on uh, Beyonce's Lemonade that was really good, too, that he wrote for her on there. Um, that was a really, really cool uh, song, so you should check that out as well. But yeah, I'm a huge Jack White fan. I think he's amazing. He's one of my favorites, actually, my favorite artists. You had to teach yourself French. How the hell are you teaching yourself French? The group is made up from people from Foo Fighters or Stone Pimple Pilots. Really? Was it? I didn't know that, T Funk. I didn't. Seriously? I didn't know that. I guess I need to. Oh, my. Oh, my. No, my button is still up. Um, I didn't know that. Stone Temple Pilots, really? Stone Temple Pilots, they had that song, um, um, When the Dogs Can Smell Her, with that song. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they were. I don't, I didn't know that. I don't think so. What's up, big boy? I'm VA. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that, T-Funk. I don't, I don't have that knowledge. You bought the textbook and went on Google and passed the test. Oh, okay, Flash. So you're pretty smart. You're a pretty smart guy. You're a pretty smart guy. That's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say good night, guys. If I'm stream, if I do decide to stream Battlefield, um, I did listen to some Soundgarden. I wasn't like a huge Soundgarden fan, but yeah, but I did listen to Soundgarden as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I do stream it, it'll be on it'll be on Twitch. It'll be on Twitch. You told me about Body Count before. I need to look. I need to look look them up because I'm not sure who that is. So I need I do need to look that up. You gave me their name before, T Funk. So I will I will check I will check them out. I will check them out. Body Count. All right. I'll I'll just, I'll look them up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for now, and I will see you guys hopefully on Thursday. Um, my Twitch channel is Liquid Lola, all together, twitch.tv slash Liquid Lola, all together, like, you know, all together, no space or anything. Okay, L. Oh, L, you're still here. All right, well, let us know. Let us know how things go, L. Let us know. Oh, my gosh. My dad was a huge Fishbone fan. Okay, so before I go, okay, yes. I was a Fishbone fan. What about Living Color? Living Color, I've seen them um, quite a few times perform here in New York. Um, yeah, great bands. Great rock bands. Great rock bands. Yeah, so that's my that's my Twitch. So you can you can find me over on Twitch. On there, hit me with a follow. If you're Amazon Prime member, you get a free um, you get a free Twitch subscription. So if you would like to subscribe to me over on Twitch, please do so. I would love it. And good luck to you, L. Come back and let us know what happens. Remember, don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty. Living Color, yeah, Living Color is, is an awesome band. Awesome band. These are they're older bands, Flash. Um, but yeah, but I'm out, guys. I'm out. I'm going to get a couple rounds in, I think. So if you want to check me out, um, come by on YouTube and I'll see you. I mean, not on YouTube, on, uh, on Twitch. On Twitch. I'll be streaming on Twitch. So, and don't be thirsty, Elle. All right, bye. <laughs> don't be thirsty, be hungry. I love that. That should be, that should be a, um, that should be a t-shirt flash. Don't be thirsty. Be hungry. Yeah. Good night. Have a good night. All right. Good night, everybody. And thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out this evening. I'll see you guys later. All right.
all right then Lola there's always Saints Row 2 okay nice all right T-Funk I'll, I'll see you guys later bye